today's video, we're gonna play Andre Baratos by Prison Affair. Please like and subscribe down below. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers and check out the Patreon where you can join for as little as $5 a month where we're helping to support beginners uh, get affordable one-on-one -on -one lessons and instruments. Also with this video, you're gonna get a guitar pro file of the lesson as well as a PDF. So grab a guitar and let's play. Entre Brotis uh, translates to in jail or behind bars. Um, and if you're playing this song behind bars, you're only going to need a couple of chords, but it's a pretty fast sort of psych rock garage burner. Uh, let's go through those chords now. First chord we're going to look at is going to be a bar chord of C with an E bass, and it's going to be up on the 12th fret. So you're going to take your first finger on the 12th fret and bar the first four strings. You're going to bring your second finger on the uh, second string on the 13th fret, or one fret past the bar, and your third finger on the fourth string, second fret past the bar or 14th fret. Next up we've got an E minor. All you have to do is lift that second finger off. That's your E minor. And then we're going to move back to the 10th fret for a D chord. And that's like a bar D chord except for we're just going to do 4, 3, 2, and 1. And if you wanted to you probably just do uh, strings 4, 3, and 2. Next, we've got an E minor chord on the seventh fret with your finger going all the way to the fifth string. Then we've got a C major chord, bar chord, first finger going all the way to the sixth string on the eighth fret. Next, we've got a D major chord. Uh, that's gonna be a sixth string bar chord all the way over on the 10th fret. Next, we've got that chord, but what you're going to do is you're just going to lower your finger down on the 12th fret, and you're going to catch strings 5, 4, 3. And then finally, we've got an E minor chord. Uh, if you want to do the bigger chords on the 12th fret, it's going to go all the way to the 6th string. By now you've probably noticed the tremolo effect on the song and on what I'm doing. I'm doing something really basic. I don't have a tremolo pedal, so I've got a roto vibe pedal. I've got the speed set all the way up, but the depth is only maybe 50% or even less. The song's intro and the first verse are gonna have the exact same pattern. It's gonna start with that C with an E, then go to the E minor, and then the D. And we're gonna have a little run that goes in a box pattern, starting on the fourth string, 12, 14, 12, 14 on the third string, back to 4, 12, 14, then 12 on the third, and 14 on the fourth. We're going to go back to the chords, C with an E, E minor, D, and next we've got a little sort of a rock riff if you want. It's So you're going to put a first finger on the 12th fret of the second string, third finger on the 15th fret of the third string, and you're going to bend this note up to this note. You're going to do that two times, and then you're going to do a pull off from 14 to 12 on the third string, and then 14 back on the fourth string. Next we get into the second verse, and for the second verse we're going to do the bar chords. So it's going to start with a C, go down to the E minor, and then the D. And then we're going to lower that second finger and catch those notes on the 12th fret. So, so all together it would sound like. And it's going to do that four times through the pattern. Next, we've got the third verse. Third verse is going to be uh, start off the same as the intro in the first verse. So you've got your C with an E, your E minor, your D, and then the little box uh, riff. So 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, and then 14. Back to the chords. Chords again. Then that riff again, 12 to 14. And now for that next measure, it's gonna do the 14th on the fourth fret, uh, fourth string, 
12 on the third string, and then a half note up to A or 14 on the third string. And then it's gonna come in with a D chord before the next verse. The fourth verse is gonna be the same as the second verse. It's gonna start off with a C, E minor to D. And it's gonna repeat that four times. Finally, we get to the fifth verse. We're gonna have some staccato notes. It's gonna be the same notes, uh, same chords, C, E minor, and D, but we're gonna do staccato quarter notes. Then we're gonna have that uh, riff again, 12 to 14. Back to the staccato. Before moving on to the next part. So we're at the last verse and we're gonna go back to those bar chords, the C, to the E minor, to the D, lowering down to get those Gs. And so now we get to the ending, and the ending's got a couple of real quick staccato 16th notes. Uh, and I'm gonna do this with the bar chords, so it's gonna start with C, D E minor, and then finally D. So. And it's just gonna do that one time. Well, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe down below. I think the video is probably at this point about three times longer than the actual song, but it's an awesome, awesome song off an awesome record. Uh, please like and subscribe down below and check out the Patreon. We can join for as little as $5 a month. And I, I forgot to mention that you will get a PDF and a guitar profile for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.